Seven Duel Masters content creators are competing in a tournament unlike anything seen before. Week to week, they will compete in intense challenges that will test their creativity, game knowledge, deck building skills, and in-game decision making. Welcome to the Garabon Games. So here you can see my choice of the decklist for the first round of Garabon games. So uh, I went with this uh, grindy style of a five color control. I included some spicy uh, spicy text like Aeropica, which is fantastic in a five color shell in a slower format, as well as Cosmo Gold as one of the key cards to reuse our spicy, spicy chargers. Could have maybe used a little more mana recursion, but I chose to go with this kind of a build. Just jam threats, have a high card quality, as well as lots of best tools from each color. <laughs> I play Highlander first shoot surfer, let's yeah. go. <laughs> German odds. German odds, yeah, German odds. Oh baby. German odds, German odds. This is not, German odds. Not the same. You got it, you got it. You know your shields? Yeah. Okay, let's shield and then... GG. GG. Uh, Darksiner has some good ideas and I think we do share a lot of values in Duel Masters because the 4 bus deck that he has kind of in reinvigorated or maintained throughout the years, toolboxy type of stuff, I know that he's able to do that. You are playing 50 cards too, I assume. If yeah, I see I'm, I'm playing 50 cards. Alright, uh, I'll shuffle just a couple times, then roll the die and set up the battle zone. Yeah, both on 50 cards, okay, okay. 19 for me, not bad. That's a good roll. Uh, the 7 can't, can't beat that, so... Uh, Alright, yeah. set up battle zone. Best of luck. <laughs> yeah, likewise, likewise. Alright, if I'm expecting what I'm expecting and it seems like we might be on a fairly similar thing, <laughs> unless you surprise me. I think uh, it's going to be a control mirror rather than a 50 card aggro mirror. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, so, okay, before you play anything, my uh, assumption is either you're playing a four color uh, control list or you're playing five colors controls with pretty much everything that deck search is and value cards <laughs> and finishers like Cryptic Totem, Volmedius, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good read. Like, uh, my guess before the tournament started was like everybody should be on like control decks because I think like the, uh, the the restriction that you only have single cards makes it so rough for aggressive strategies because those profit on playing like maximum copies of their cards. Yeah, exactly. I agree and I thought like the different I'll play my card in just a sec but I think this is an interesting discussion. I think the best options are either four or five colors mainly because if you're expecting a control mirror you usually have the time to find the mana colors and yeah. like then you get the best cards of all options but I do see like a blue, red, black control could be fine as three colors, but I think the other three color options are a little worse. But I was, I, at the mo last moment before choosing my deck, I was a little tempted to kind of build the best aggro I could. <laughs> because on one hand, if you're expecting like 50 cards controls that are singleton, there might not be that many shield triggers. So yeah, stuff like yeah. Pyro Fighter could just like steal the game, but we'll, we'll see. The, I'll yeah. charge a Polio and Pasture. Uh, we'll draw for turn and I will charge Miraculous Snare since it's a multicolor card. And yet the surprise was that Modest was on an aggro deck and that really like I was like how does anybody <laughs> play aggro in this challenge? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. he did <laughs> and it was totally. wa was uh, yeah close, it was close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, morbid into mana, I think I will do the same. Oh, nice play. Hmm, <laughs> okay, this is a little interesting. Um, let's see. Mm, I think I'll do this at pass. Mm -hmm. For turn. Oh. Uh, my top deck was quite good. Oh, bronze armor and other uh, three uh, chest. It's, chest. Yeah, it's bronze okay. arm and uh, yeah, I drew I drew the cryptic, so nice. I needed the mana. <laughs> I'll draw, and I think here I'm inclined to go probably this and this, I think. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of putting this to the mana, but yeah, I'll yeah. still play a, a good card, Magris, and pass. Rather want it for late game, but also you need to unlock the colors, so... Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, it's quite 
difficult here from a decision standpoint. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are all the cards in my that you've seen me play in your deck as well? Uh, yeah, from what I've seen up until now, <laughs> that I have all those cards in my deck. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same for me regarding yours. <laughs> so I think it's it's gonna be fun <laughs> the outcome is to see like how close we. I think yeah. there's actually like maybe three cards different, but I think there's reasons to. Yeah, I think play. I have like one suboptimal engine maybe you could call that that's a bit risky but could be rewarded but otherwise like most of my deck is just like best individual value of cards yeah 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 uh, it would be fun if our the engine you're talking about is the same engine as <laughs> oh look a vulcan in charge god damn yeah. but like, like okay let's see what do you get um think Sky is already into Lost Soul. Nah, yeah, the perfect curve in singleton format, that would be nice. Uh, I will go for oh, the unconventional Damn. energy stream. I pick up two with Ghastly Drain. Okay. Good stuff. I will draw for turn. Interesting decision. I think I'll charge this and then I'll think. <laughs> now you've unlocked all the colors one by one. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I'll play Cosmo yeah, Okay, okay. I dig it. That's um, spicy that goes into somewhat of the direction that I chose as well. Not not exactly like that. I don't have that card in my deck. Okay, okay. Yeah, but this the, is the thing I was... Uh, yeah. I think it's a pretty good option. But the idea behind it is, is good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now let's see. I think I pass here. Okay. Like there's Marie not, to attacking, yeah. but it's more of like the read if I'm expecting you to have a board clear. And I think by going to with Ghastly Drain, you're signaling me like you don't care if I swing, kind of. <laughs> um, we'll charge the Harkas here. I think I will go for this play here. Uh, Rebirth. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, very good. One of the best cards in the deck. And I think that's one of the reasons to run like five colors. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let's see, um, I think I have my choice here, I'm just, like I can't figure out the shields, I can't remember 50 single cards, that's too much, but yeah, just want fun. to have a general look what's available and might be needed in this matchup, yeah. Uh, checking shields in Highlander sounds like fun, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, I pull out Locomotive. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, okay. That's my A-hook, that's pretty good. I will pass. I will draw. Hmm. Not sure what you are running. Ah, uh, I guess I could go for that. I mean, I think I like this. That. Yeah, I think I'm pretty safe with that. I'm gonna play a Mystic Treasure Chest. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe followed up with a four drop from hand. Let me quickly figure out my shields because <laughs> I have a screenshot next to me. That. No. No. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll hide this down for me. Not probably not gonna be relevant, but it's information. So it's this. Alright. Okay. Yeah. This one. No 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 no. <laughs> nope. Cards getting stuck nope. in shields is a really huge yeah. issue in the control mirror. Like if you can't see ghastly drain, uh, you kinda know you don't see the cards for the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the reasons why I think fifty car or like going past 40 cards is like good because then you have less chance to hit those one ups in there. Yeah, also, like if you go for five colors, it's hard to fit them in 40 cards. And yeah. like, I like I didn't want to, but I tried to trim down my deck a bit from 50 down to like whatever number, but it just didn't feel good. Like, I would cut actual good cards from yeah. there, so didn't, all right, I didn't have my. Feel shields figured out so this is an interesting choice what do i expect you to have we have four cards in hand you likely don't have orobos <laughs> or rayla because i think you would have gone for it either yeah i think going this into mana is the best uh i'll get lost okay my mana. all right somebody trying to get that back yeah Bilix. yeah okay okay all right i see I'll you pass. i see you Okay. Now I know that you could have Giga Balls and I don't think you'd run Ghost Touch, but you will run Lost Soul, so now I'm forcing you to Lost Soul, kinda. Mm. If you have it. Huh, that's really difficult spot right now. Yeah, either gotta commit to the board or make me discard. 
pretty much different ways I can go about it, but uh, well, I think I take the risk here. Um, I will go up heaven. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Alright, and you have, let me see here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see them in the chat, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, these cards. Yeah, so you can pull, you know. Mm, that's bad for me. Good play by you. Mm, but yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. I think maybe Magris going in aggro could be <laughs> the call here, but. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, if you want to do that. Row. So I know you have the Volcano, you have Snare, but you need to charge, you have two turns to... Oh yeah, you can just Snare the next turn. Yeah. By going Baliga Snare, so swing is not correct. <laughs> I will play a Rainbow Gate. Oh, that must be the top deck. <laughs> it was, yes. Yeah, yeah, the rest was known. Uh, Rainbow, mm -hmm. nice, very interesting. Another Searcher. Yeah, I think also, it's... yeah, you want to play a decent amount of multi sif creatures, like not too many, but a handful, definitely. Yeah. So let me see. You have Morbid doesn't do anything. Cryptic does. Yeah, Cryptic Bal is Ega. quite good. Valiga for upheaval again could be interesting. But... So Snare is the main thing. Uh, I think I'll get Sky Sword. All right. And then I'll just pass. Okay, I'll draw for turn. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um. Okay, so you have Holy Ore, Morbid, Volcano, Thrash, Cryptic, and Clam. So like, for next turn you have basically nothing, unless you top deck something, and then the turn after that you can walk Charger or Clam. It's a difficult decision here. Oh, did I, you get the upheaval from uh, the Gaston train, or did you Ah, uh, no, no, I had it, I had it already. The, okay. It was in my starting hand, and it was my... Yeah, then I think the Gasty train does, like... Makes Make sense, yeah, yeah, it gives me more cards for upheaval, and yeah, it was my only out to like a soul in that situation. Yeah, yeah, oh. you're definitely correct to play it, even if your rest of your hand is pretty, like, good overall. Yeah, because, like, the alternative would be, like, just playing the Eureka Charger to go yeah. up more mana or lizarding the board, but that doesn't make sense yeah. because then we're both at like zero and yeah. I think that was a fine choice. I'm just thinking what I want to charge here. Uh, I think I will charge the Aqua Hulkus here. And I will just play Volcano Charger as a fairy life pastor. Yeah, I will draw. Interesting. Am I ever gonna care about that? Maybe. Mm. So you have the sneer, so I kind of want to force the issue, I guess. <laughs> could still get that too, though. Volcano is gone, cryptic, morbid, sneer. You have three cards in your grave, just spells. Yeah, I think it's that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the whole the mm, dimension. And top deck dimension gate. Back to back <laughs> gates being top decked. <laughs> I play all of them. <laughs> Alright, so I like going for that. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. gonna get a yeah. Baliga. Yeah. Can pass. Makes sense. I will charge the Cryptic. I will play Balmedius. Oh, nice job. I'll draw for turn, so Balmedius is gonna be munching stuff up soon. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's this is an issue. I'll play the Mecha Dragons. I will just contemplate for one second. Yeah, I think it's between Volk Charger and the clamp you have. Yeah, so your hand is full, snare, and something. So with full, you could just get back what you discard. I don't think it's powerful enough, so I'll go Volcano Charger and I'll destroy the locomotive. Alright. I, I can. You can't target it, yeah, it can't be destroyed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I will pass after. Okay, I will draw for turn. Oh, that's that's good. So your hand is Fal, Sky Sword, Thrash, Morbid and Clan. Potentially. <laughs> Potentially. I mean yeah, the information is yeah, in chat. Yeah, the information is in chat. Yeah, yeah, I I I know. The like I knew the the ones with upheaval, those are checked easily, and then you search Sky Sword and Fall. Yeah. So, you know, 
It's and bad. I know that you have the snare bow in hand. Also morbid, to be fair. <laughs> That's yeah. also public knowledge, but too unknown. Uh, so yeah. you have yeah the spells. Yeah, you have search spells which you could recycle the far. No removal for Bermedius there. You could recycle the Apoch, but that takes a turn. Three and then have six for that. I think that would be a good play. Also, I could be a bit greedy and do this. I will charge the snare. I will play soul swap. Ouch. Oh, that's like a sealer critic. Bazagavir. Yeah, that's. Um, strong. Ah, do I want to be greedy here or not? <laughs> You know your shields. Greedy or not is the question. I think we go greedy mode here. Oh, spicy. Um, yeah, first let's take like two random shields out of here. <laughs> okay, uh, enough leap and boots. Okay, alright. Now, yeah, we go greedy mode to shield one and shield four. All right, and take that back, and back to you. <laughs> ah, let's see if we can do something oh, about it. It was uh, two in three for me to win the game, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I can still do this, so it's... No, I can't do that. I have two guesses which lines you would make. Like, there are two obvious options that I see right now from the stuff you have. And do that this one I can, but it doesn't get anything. This is no it doesn't do anything. Oh man, it would have been such a good nice backswing, but <laughs> Oh yeah, it wouldn't have yeah, never mind, never mind. I would have had that. Yeah, but I, oh, I was yeah, I would have oh yeah, if you just hit okay, so uh, <laughs> one of the shields would have actually probably allowed me to stabilize here. Like the thing is I was considering to play it conservative, just kill the Belix with Baza Gazil and keep the Zeering in hand, but like now I put you on like this one turn clock. Like if you don't have an answer now, next turn it's game. Yeah. I risked hitting two sheets. Yeah. Oh man, so close, so close. So if I do this, I'll put Mistrias to Mana. Right. Good card, by the way, especially in this format. And yeah, this is. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really good. I'll get Belix. Yeah. And yeah. That mm, was the one line of play I. I thought about like just Morbid and Belix. I think it's Belix and Bronze here. Alright, yeah. Bronze then getting some of the that Belix. advantage back that you lose with Belix. Yeah, unfortunately I think it's not gonna quite matter. Six next turn. Yeah, I'll get the Volcano back. Yeah, and pass. Yeah, there was one trigger that really, like, depending on your top deck, I probably would have won here. I can, I can reveal in just a second. Yeah. Damn, does this help me? Not really. Oh, okay, now I have to think about if I have enough mana for this super giga prank play here. Yeah, okay, that's not enough. I won't charge anything. I will just tap 5 for Fal Iga. Get back a soul swap. Then I will soul swap out the cryptic so you have another threat that you need to answer and then i will try to break the last shield you are at three cards in hand playing around the clamp that's why i didn't, didn't charge yes what does blocking get me here nothing because of the buzzer yeah uh i will reveal the one thing that would have been lost oh again. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you either either of the two shields would have been balsa you'd be at one card then Bazagazil comes to hand. Yeah, and then clan, yeah. Yeah, I can just go Sky Sword, uh, like after that. Yeah, that so. would have uh, made a difference, definitely. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Good that I didn't go in order and uh, try to yeah, move yeah. past the shield triggers. Like, uh, <laughs> I always go just in order and be like, no yeah, and what was was the skill involved <laughs> avoiding <Yeah>. the triggers? <laughs> like if you had one shield, in theory, cosmic darts on invincible abyss. <laughs> <laughs> I just play the sky sword and then pass it. Okay, no skeeto to follow it up. 
I will just play oh, Basel Gazino. One shield. So close. Uh, kill the Bilix and then. Uh, sure. I, I, I will give you the card in hand. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> and then for game. Alright, GG. <laughs> GG's. Haha, you fell right into my trap. Oh no. Oh no. I'm about to draw a mini type yet again next turn, aren't I? Oh, what 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 are you saying? Oh, oh no, oh. I see five mana and blue. Get out of here, get. Let's tap seven for twin cannon and let's try to end this game. No trigger! Okay. GG. GG! Ooh, that's the best top deck ever because I Do survived. Not like to hear that. Sky Sword, Mana Nexus. Oh no! Send okay. upheaval to shields. Oh my god! That <laughs> complicates things. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Three mana. Follow me. Soul swap. With Bilix. Play Bilix. Get Corpse yeah. Charger. Four mana. Corpse Charger. Get my boy back to the hand. Summon my boy. Amazing! God damn, I feel so powerful. Stratosphere. Make him draw All his right, last that card. Was draw my last card. Alright, you got it. One. Damn. <laughs> not, not ideal. Looks like I, I started uh, very well. Okay, Maybe you will roll a 1-2. I'm rolling 4. No. In the best of 1, the dice is quite important. True, true. Bro, I have, uh, I have uh, some, uh, some thoughts as well that uh, kind of bother me a bit. Hope I, I'm not getting match against aggro. <laughs> Hope no one was mad enough to bring an aggro to this format. I shall not reveal anything. Of course. You will see soon. Of course. But my impatience though. Uh, okay, let's charge this. Your turn. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Let's charge this. Go. Kill candle. Yeah. Meta card. The virus. Charge pit. Glad to see a trigger in mana. Kind of difficult choice. Yeah, my first charge was difficult as well. Yeah, I will charge Coco Lupia. Holy shit! <laughs> some clues. I got some clues, but I drew something good. Hmm. Now it's time to think. Because. Uh, hmm. I gotta wonder before I make the move if we play Darkness or not. Because that's gonna be a big one. But I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna play it safe and charge... Giga Balza. And... Slash you, of course. Oh, that's quite good in this sense. It's really hard to tell what cards are in the deck. Of course. Look at all the cards. <laughs> oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh. Just like uh, what I was expecting. Yep. Then this is this is some juicy things. I'm gonna take some time. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, it's okay. Because uh, you have uh, some interesting card choices here. Last seems not nice in this sense. <laughs> when the card is gone, it's gone. There's no other copies. Mm-hmm. At least in my deck. Yes. The strategies, though. I mean, you have uh, some good uh, counter cards to my deck. I have to choose wisely which I'm gonna send to Graveyard. I it's think. also hard to determine the shields in this format, since you can't really tell by the cards if there are shield triggers or not in the shields. Mm -hmm. I kinda think I know what's in your shields, but yeah. Okay. I think you will have a turn 3 play, so... Everything is a threat. Basically, everything is a threat here. Which is the bigger threat, I don't know. I'm gonna get your uh, Pinsar Scare about. Uh, I shuffle your deck. Uh, you can 
put it into graveyard for me, please. Your turn. Yes. Alright. I think it's time for some raiding. Okay. Let's raid the cavern. Good. Okay, now that I know what you have, I charge this. Yeah. I I was thinking it was probably Delas. And I said, you, you said you wondered if I had darkness, so. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now I have two good plays, but I think this is the better one. Megris, your turn. Okay, I think I will put my stained glass in the mana, and I will play Charmelia. Damn. Now, wondering if I should attack. I don't see any fire, so mass removal seems unlikely. <laughs> but. You never know. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Let's play it slow. Your turn. Wow. Amazing. You're not going to search anything. I think it's a big chance the card I'm worried about it's still in your deck. And I think I'm going to charge Bliss Totem. Six mana. Craze Valky. Craze, yeah. Of course I'm going to kill your uh, Charmelia. Yes. Golak is going and I will play Rumbling so I can see my deck for myself. <laughs> there are a couple choices here. I think I will go for this one. I will take Neofa. Big one. I will end my turn. Doro. Interesting card. I'm going to go... Uh into no charge mode. Yep. Summon the same thing. Do you have something as good as Neofa? Yes, I have. Hmm, but it's not in my deck. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> You'll see the surprise I have in this deck. But later. Choosing Techno Totem. Your turn. This is a difficult mana charge. I'm trying to remember what I saw in my deck of the shirts. I think it will be yeah, Spiral Gate. Wow. And ready to evolve. Neofa. So I will take a nature creature. I guess I will just take De La Serna. Now, should I push the gas pedal or, or no? You have Techno in hand. My Neofa is very big. Yeah, I will attack. Color shield. Second shield. Uh, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, boom. That's so not nice. I'm gonna send it, yeah. That's a big boost, but what else to do? So now I have... One, two, three, four, three, four, three, I have eight mana. I think I need to attack with this, so... So I will search my deck. I will take Pyro. Good. And break the shield. I'm breaking. Oh ho ho ho! Alright. Uh, it was some good shit, but I think I'm gonna renounce, make some sacrifices. Charging Palo Ulysses, because you're gonna make sacrifices. 3 mana, Juliana, 4 mana, Techno, and I will kill your Cavern Rider. Pretty interesting. I could do those things and then perhaps something else. Yeah, I have 8 mana, so I need to. You need to see it in Wave and Pyro. <laughs> Four mana. What's it gonna be? Unicorn is that? These nuts. And then five. I will corral that. Choose a card to place on top. Okay, I first I'm gonna place Craze. So I I want yeah. Wow, Megris was on top. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then I will enter. So I'm gonna do 
go with this beautiful magus. Tough choices to make. Uh, I'm gonna charge energy stem. So I gotta think what you're left with in hand. Yeah, two cards. One of which is Pyro. And then I gotta think carefully. Cause I'm gonna give you some advantage if I do that. Seven mana. Plague. Plague. Yeah, do what you must with your creatures, then I'm gonna choose mana carefully. I think one one of the cards is gonna be De La Serna for sure. The second one is gonna be Neofa. I'm gonna take Coral, destroy Unicorn Fish. Uh, am I am I gonna get to play Neofa? Probably not, so I will destroy Neofa and yeah, because I was wondering if I... Am I gonna throw a bait for Neofa? Probably not. So. <laughs> At Your least turn. Della I can play. Okay. Since you gave me the Della that <laughs> signals that you don't have this card. At least at the moment, so... Guess you gonna corral me again? No. <gasps> what you gonna do? That's a possibility, but Rumbling is a good creature. Rumble, rumble. Get ready to rumble. Let's play Magma Rex. <laughs> Lol. Amazing. And, and Pyro. Attack. I'm just gonna block, of course. Yeah. Top deck. That Top craze. Deck. Charge Charmilia because it's too slow. First of all, Magris. Second of all, tap this, tap this, and these two. Techno Totem. Okay. Hope God will bless me with the trigger. Let's try to end this. This has gone on too long. The fucking twin cannon, mate. Yeah. Boom. Double break. No trigger. Uh, trigger. No, if there's a trigger, since you've searched. Trigger. No trigger. Yeah, it's a locomotive, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. And no other trigger. Trigger. Remove all trigger. Remove Magmarex. Fucking hell. You know what that GG. card was? Let's go. <laughs> you know what that card was? What? What it was? Stratosphere giant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a meta shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's on top tier, right here. Yeah, <laughs> play that in the car aisle. <laughs> yeah, nice. Hello guys, uh, it's Dark Signer here and Xbo. Yep. Getting ready for our final match of the first Garabon Games Challenge. Making sure to get the right deck. Okay, so you're on 40 cards. That's a difference. Oh. The I lost all the dice. Ah, oh, that that so sucks. I, zero out of three. I think I'm two two one right now. I think I won two and lost one. So pretty pretty good so far. So I will I will go first definitely. Maybe Seven I hours. I need that. Yeah, <laughs> first time. But maybe I need more. <laughs> Do I charge here? Um, yeah, I'll charge this one. Terra, that's a strong card. Indeed. Good to have some searches in the singleton format. I will judge back marks. Right. Mm, yeah. I could need all of these. What do I charge here? Guess I charge Terrapit. I know it's a difficult choice. You are showing Terrahorn and Terrapit. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. The good thing about this challenge is you definitely know what you don't see in shields. Yeah. Because there's only one copy. Also, you have to remember your deck. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, but that's also quite difficult. Like, like checking shields in this format is like really, really hard. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll put that stuff into mana. All right, interesting card. Yeah, I was just deciding if you have blue. You might have still. But Looking at your first two cards in mana this looks more like an aggro deck like you play rock aggro or something like that this doesn't look like control to me also 40 cards only so if you play control you might only play like four colors i think i would go there what do we do here 
Yeah, I think I charged the ghastly because I think you're on some aggro stuff. I will charge a unicorn fish. Yeah, yeah, okay. The rock colors. Like Cavern Raider. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, let's see. Okay. Mm, charge the whole yaw. And play. Charmelia. Pass. Difficult choices. This is the point where I decide how fast I want to go. Yeah. I think I'm not gonna get to pass a. Yeah, uh, I'll and I will play cannon shell. <laughs> nice one. Cool, four mana, six k. Yeah, that's good. Sadly, it doesn't get like double breaker when it's at six k. That would make it a bit better, like even for like the standard yeah. format. But even as a like one one break, six k is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, but I mean the shield trigger ability is like a bit anti-synergistic because like when it comes out of shields it's less powerful and yeah you want it from the yeah. like first or second shield yeah usually. and like as a, as a hard player like pincer scarab a bit more now i'm wondering if i should attack yeah that's that's a good question here yeah. because you could like kill it with Charmelia, but i could kill your Charmelia with my cannon shell and i would gain a card i think i will attack Right. And I will search first. Yes, do your search first. Because it could be a different search yeah. if you know yeah, what happens with it. Also, that's the correct order. Yeah. Should I search something for next turn? Perhaps. No, I can check my shields if I remember them. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried against Sudelio, but like, I was just. At, yeah, that was too much. I was just checking for relevant cards in the matchup and... Uh, <laughs> I can't really tell. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I will take Rumbling Terrible. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, shuffle. And break. We break the shield. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Trigger? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will see you pretty soon. Um, yeah. It was a trigger, but not one I yeah, not wanted to use. <laughs> at this point. No, no, no. Yeah, just return three mana, please. I will oh, snare the cannon shell. You gave me a shield trigger, nice. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome, and then I will kill that. <laughs> yeah. And then it's your turn. So Amelia is pretty scary. Yeah, I, I like tap ability creatures in this format, like in Singleton, because removal is pretty limited and then they can go off multiple times. I think it's Booga Booga <coughs> Gonta time. Gonta, with the alternate artwork, Hymne would uh, applaud that. <laughs> yeah. He plays the odd and artwork. Let's play Pyro. Alright. Let's okay. just run it there. Oh, let's okay, yeah. yeah. Shirts. Yeah, you trade. All right. Yeah, you don't want me to get more advantage. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Two different lines I could play here. Uh, I could do this, but also difficult decisions. We have that. Yeah. Ah, oh, what we'll charge? Energy stream. Oh man, two cards I can play here. Both pretty good. I think I'll go with that. I play mysterious. Pass it to you. Beast is pretty scary. I guess you don't have too many spell removal options, so I hope this mystery as well stick for a bit, not get corrupted. <laughs> um, <coughs> I have a couple of options, which is always good. Like figuring out the best line. This keeps up the pressure. Best. Mm. Yeah, that was. I was afraid of that, but. Yeah. Can you do that? Uh, Let's start beating you down. Yeah, alright, alright. Just interesting. Decisions, decisions. Is there a miraculous plague? Maybe. Mm, I think this is the play here. Almost. Mm -hmm. Now I need to check some stuff. And checking your shields. Yeah. <laughs> At least as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know my shields. Do I take this one? Probably. Uh, I will take Blizzard. Oh, yep. Makes sense. 
Oh, I'm inclined to not play creatures into the blizzard. <laughs> Understandable. I'm wondering if I yeah, blizzard. You could you have seven mana, maybe eight next turn. Yeah, I think it's just spiral gate or what? And okay. mm. it's quite good at this point. Yeah, that's a good hit. What do we take though? Yeah, probably that is the best play I can do at the moment. Yeah, I think this is the play I'm just evaluating it for a moment. I take Rebirth. Alright. Yeah, turn. You're gonna Rebirth for Sky Sword. Yeah, I'm thinking about different options. I can rebirth for Sky Sword, I can rebirth for Fali Eager or for Coral of my own. Those are the options I have. Where does this get me though? Could do this and then that. Mm, difficult decisions to make here. But yeah, we're definitely rebirth for Coral. Yep. Coral so you don't get a top deck, you have the horn and one unknown. Coral could do some work, but also this giving me back Rebirth or Snare would be great. Yeah, I think Faliga is the play here. I will use Faliga to get back the Snare. Yeah, snare. Yeah. Yeah. And then I will use the two mana left for Spiral Gate on the Gonta. That's a quite a good turn. We have Snare in hand. Yes. You basically, Blizzard, yeah. you know, yeah, you know, three cards. You know, Blizzard, Snare, and the four boss that you bounce with Coral. Yeah. And you have Gonta and Terrahorn. <laughs> no Gonta and Terrahorn plays here, luckily for me. Yeah. Thinking about, like, how do I make the most pressure with the cards you have? <laughs> yeah, I think I will take Green Cannon. Mm, Alright, that can come down next turn. Mm, that isn't too great anymore. Twin cannon can come down next turn. That's difficult here. That was my goal. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what we want here. Huh. That's more good spells appeared in your deck. <laughs> I think. I will do the standard Forbos play. And get swapped. <laughs> yeah, because that gives the <laughs> most amount of options. Yeah. Could also do this, but nah, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's the Forbos play for swap, so I have the mini swap idea. The most amount of options. Juliana. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Could you have. Like now I'm like one threat appeared in my head, like could you have meltdown? Perhaps <laughs> you could. And it's definitely in the realm of possibilities, yes. <laughs> if you do putting you the zero seals would be but even now meltdown could like Could win the game um, if you have you no just, triggers, yes. I'll use the cannon cell because you already know so you can play yeah. around it and play searing play. Right. Then I will break, break your last shield. Alright. I knew what that was. Very nice. Okay, so now it's difficult. Like do I go safe here or uh, Oh I can safe. oh I can go super safe with this play. I see I have enough mana for it. No, super safe doesn't sound good. Yeah, super safe sounds super good to me. That's so bad. <laughs> Um, I will charge Eureka Charger. Don't think I need that one. You don't need any more cards? <laughs> no, sure. I don't think I need any more cards. Um, tap D7 for a lost soul. That seems safe. That's good. Yeah, and I mean, I'm with super I'm safe, super I meant safe. that uh, I can play around Arky. Yeah. Because I still oh, have yeah, yeah, you three have mana the, left. The yeah. There. Yeah, if the snare. You could top deck a speed attacker. That would be like the worst for me. So I still think I will play around the speed attacker. I just, I play the 
snare, but I decide on which card I want to snare back into my shields. Fahl could give me Grammy back these. Forbos has way more utility, so yeah, I will uh, set the Faliga's shield and kill this. My bad. Let's just play the creature. <laughs> Interesting, nice one. Um, I will draw. Ah, that's interesting. Mm, I want to do so much stuff here right now. Yeah, so much better. You probably yeah, can, can, can <laughs> do a lot of stuff, you're right. So I will start by doing this, I think. I will charge the blizzard. Mm, okay, I will tap one, two, three mana for clone factory. Take back the Volcano Charger and the... Uh, I could take the Eureka Charger to get the mana back. I want the stream. Oh, did I tap the Blizzard? Oh, dang. <laughs> dang. Oh, man. If okay. you need it for the Volcano. I need it for the Volcano. I just played it blindly here. Um, That sucks. Maybe unconsciously you just wanted a little bit of danger in your life. No, I didn't want that at all. Uh, how could I misplay this so hard? Oh, fuck. <laughs> how can one misplay so badly? Like, it was obvious what I was trying to do, you know? You can... Uh, no, I, I mean, I'm stupid for doing it, so... Um, Are you gonna punish yourself for that? Yeah, well, I mean, I need to do this now, I think you have this, so you need three turns to do something. <laughs> this was so stupid. <laughs> ah, if I lose because of that, it's so stupid, it's so stupid. Yeah, Pebble. Okay. Why did I tap the red mana? Is there a fucking... Ah. Now what was in your head? You had... You can read it. Yeah, it's just checking the log. So, Blazer, Eureka Charger, Popo, Mysterious, Dreamscape, Holy, Augusti, Peach, and Rumbling. Mm. Hmm. Well, let's just start by doing that. And pass. I think you still have quite the commanding lead at the moment. Yeah, so. but it was still stupid, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I could just Volcano Charger and do the upheaval play next turn and be super safe. Oh well, mm, mm, I will need to look what you got to hand with the upheaval. Yeah. Magma, Tech Tab, Unicorn, Raza, Dimension Gate, Snare, right. Um, oh damn, what do I do here? I think I will get this one. Pass it to you. Uh, there's no reason for me to give you the fall. I just need to break all the shields at once. At some point, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Because <laughs> uh, if I give you the you still get a, at least one shield. But not even a speed away. Ah. Oh, I saw. Intense match going on. <laughs> yeah. It's, take, it's taken a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I'm in charge. What? Unfortunately, no creature to play. What do I even need? I mean, that could be okay. I guess I will take Yago. Alright. Yeah. Uh, good. That's nice. That's very nice. Mm. That's super, super nice. Does it help me? No. Yeah, I don't think this helps at all. You don't want to see daylight. 
Yeah, also like you have six cards even if you don't have the Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like at all. Yeah, four mana do nothing. <clears throat> yeah, basically. That's the best case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a easy. Now I will start going in. Okay. Playing the mid-range game, not waiting for a finisher. Because like the best I think you can do now is play unicorn fish on one of my dudes, which is bad because yeah, all they do, like they they all do something very good, <laughs> and I have Baza for yeah I for guess lethal I next turn. Allah is still later, you know. Yeah, of course, makes sense. Maybe my misplay led me into playing a pebble earlier, which actually wins me the game. <laughs> Maybe Perhaps. it was. was German odds, yeah. misplaced turn into gold. Yeah, misplaced turn into, uh, into the right play. Uh, yeah, you would need double shield trigger, which in this format is like super unlikely. Uh, or holy or. <laughs> yeah, uh, show me your show me your attack, holy or. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, no. Nothing. GG. <laughs> GG. Amazing matches, everyone. Those were some of the greatest Duel Masters games I've ever seen, and I'm sure the audience will enjoy them just as much as we all did. With that being said, congratulations to Dark Signer for being the champion of Singleton Elimination. Please think about who you want to send into the Elimination Challenge, and let us know when you're ready. Everyone else, let's go to the voting booths. So yeah, I won the first challenge of the Garabon games, so I will have the privilege or like the painful choice of uh, having to vote someone into the elimination challenge. And yeah, I did my thoughts on it and looked through the participants who I would want to vote. And <laughs> to be honest, I don't really want to vote anyone this early. There's not much uh, rivalry going around for now, at least like after the first round. And yeah, I, I don't want to like throw any of my friends and well-known players that I <laughs> play a lot of with under the bus in round one. I think they get a pass for the first round. So I had to choose randomly between the players I didn't know. So I picked Coral for the first elimination challenge. Uh, sorry for that. And yeah, to all the guys that know me a bit more, you're not safe in the future rounds, but you got the pass for the first one. Obviously, I'm not too thrilled about it, but uh, I, I guess what I'll say now is I'm going to focus on the match for now, hopefully win the elimination match and claw my way back in, and then, then we'll worry about getting revenge on everyone else who voted me to get here. For this round, I'm going to be voting for Modest Duelist to play against me. It felt really just like wrong to vote for someone that won one of their round one matches. So I really just wanted to vote for someone else who wasn't able to pick up a win. And also I couldn't sit down and vote for Lee Sando to get eliminated, who was like uh, my role model or something back in the old Duel Masters days. But uh, yeah, so sorry, it looks like we are going to vote for Modest Duelist. I am pretty sure and determined that I want to eliminate Rashes from these uh, challenges. So I'm gonna vote for X-Boom. So I placed my vote on Modest Duelist. Nothing personal against them, but I had to stay strong with my European brothers, so I had to pick one out of Thor and Modest, unfortunately, was the choice this time. So I'm going to cast my vote for X-Boom. I think he's one of the stronger players in the field, has had a lot of great tournament results recently in the IDC server. And I also know that he favors aggro decks. And if I'm going in future challenges, uh, if I personally also favor aggro decks, uh, I don't like to have to play mirrors that often. So uh, I'm not going to want to deal with that. So I'm going to cast my vote for X-Boom. My vote will go to Modest Duelist since I will be looking out for my EU bros, for the moment at least. So unfortunately, 
I got voted into the elimination challenge, so I'll have to win an extra match here and dodge it. But uh, if I had to guess, I think that uh, Corel627 actually picked me as the player that he wanted to play against, which is why he would have thrown a vote for me. And then, unfortunately, I guess a few other players decided to throw votes my way as well. So we'll have to see how it goes from here. Today's elimination challenge is called Wrath of Rares. In this challenge, players will duel for their lives using a deck with only rare cards. All commons, uncommons, very rares, and super rares are banned in this format. You may use up to four copies of any card you like, so long as it is a rare from a core Duel Masters booster set. The winner of this challenge will survive and move on to the next round, and the loser will be eliminated from the Garabon games. Quite honestly, uh, I have no idea what to think about this. It's a bit, uh, it's going to be very different from any format I've ever played, so uh, certainly no advantage for me. Like, how do you win the game in a format like this? The, the, there's creatures that you use as finishers, but most of these are like big evolution creatures that are like very rare or super rares, and so those aren't in the challenge. But, uh, and then you also have like utility creatures that generate value like Aquahocus or Bronze Arm Tribe. And we're not going to have any of those either because those are all commons and uncommons. You have like a, some sweeper spells, Apocalypse Vice, Terror Pit, Cranium Clamp. You've got Fallon Forbos. So I think there's some definite areas to explore with the control decks. That seems like level one is just Fire Sweepers and Cranium Clamp. So we'll have to delve a little bit deeper and see what else is in the card pool realistically i guess what i'm going to have to do i'm going to have to sit down in like octgn and just filter out look at what all the rares are and honestly i think i'm just going to try and identify like what are the good creatures in this format and then try and build in a way that maximizes the potential of those cards for the challenge i've actually allied with dark signer luckily enough forbos god is on my side so he'll be able to do some good work helping me develop maybe the forbos end of things for the control side and obviously in my fashion i'm probably gonna look first to see what kind of cheap cards are in the format once again um go for those high roll strategies just my way of approaching things so we'll see how that plays out but uh i'm gonna take a look at that kind of axis dark signer can handle maybe dedicating time towards the control and we'll see if we can make it out of this challenge alive okay here's the deck we're dueling for our lives for for the elimination match for the garabon games we're basically playing four color control with slash charger deck out as the win condition even though i think this strategy is maybe a bit weaker in normal constructed duel masters but a lot of the pieces for this deck are still intact in this uh, rare only format. We still have Slash Charger. We still have a lot of the spell tutor cards like Forbos and Faliga, as well as Bellix, which is really important because it helps us loop our Slash Chargers. And we've got some other powerful spells such as Cranium Clamp and Apocalypse Vise that can really help us grind our opponent out of the game. We want to sort of parry our opponent's early aggression or game plan via a combination of cheap blockers, hand destruction, and powerful board wipe spells. And then once our opponent can't really do anything to push through, then we just start slash charging a bunch, remove the only win cons or the only outs they have left in their deck, and eventually just win by deck out. So this is the deck I decided to bring to the rare only elimination challenge. And once again, I'm bringing rug aggro, deciding to kind of live by the sword or die by the sword here. So going out on a limb, taking a risk. I did ally with Dark Signer and we prepared a bit together. And I was beating like the initial control decks that Dark Signer was bringing. Uh, a lot of these like kind of Forbo style, a little bit slower, banking hard on Cranium Clamp and like big sweeper effects. And then leaning pretty hard on having like an early slash charger. So. I'm hoping my opponent is kind of on a similar length, wavelength where they're looking for these like kind of slower, a little bit clunky control decks. And I'm hoping to ideally win the die roll and get underneath them, generate just enough card advantage to maybe play through a cranium clamp and then try to close the game with some sketchy speed attacker stuff. So unfortunately, there are some really potent anti-aggro cards in this format like Yuliana and even Magmarex. And I'm kind of hoping my opponent isn't on those cards. Dark Signer started building control decks that had those cards in them. And you could definitely build some really disgusting anti-aggro decks. We're kind of hoping the opponent is either just preparing for control decks. Maybe they see the anti-aggro stuff, but they decide not to go that direction anyways. So I'm hoping to catch them off guard once again. But playing this trick twice in the same kind of event is maybe not the best idea. But whatever, we're going to go for it and see what happens. 
I am going to be playing against Modest Duelist. Honestly, p part of me was glad because Modest Duelist was more a Kaijudo player than Duel Masters player. But uh, quite honestly, in a challenge like this, I don't think that matters because I have no idea what what cards we have access to and what's going on in this format either. So uh, all bets are off. And good luck to Modest Duelist. I, I hope even if this match is going to be the last for one of us, we can at least make it a fun match. And I'm not really too sure what to expect from him. Not really familiar with him as, as much as I am with some of maybe the other European players. But I'm pretty sure... I'm the guy that he would have voted to want to play against, so I'll have to prove him wrong and maybe show him why that wasn't a good choice. But yeah, just best of one. Alright, and die roll luck is in my favor. Um, oh yeah, that's rough. That might be a death sentence already. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I've got a 50 card deck and you've got a 40 card deck here. Anyways, uh, I'm going yeah. first. If I didn't already say that, of course, of course. Uh, but then, I mean, you could you could throw if you want to <laughs> want to do that. Just send, send, put me on the play. I'd appreciate it. I I think there's some matchups in Duel Masters where going second is right. If you know you're both on like really really grindy control decks. Yeah. But it yeah, I guess it really depends. Not knowing one of what you're things, playing yeah. and seeing 40 cards, yeah, I don't think that's the right play. Well, but yeah. we'll send Cyforce Aurora oh, Elemental man. to mana. Uh, I go ahead. I, I, I knew that a card was coming, to be honest. <laughs> the people know. The people it's... know. Hmm. Now, I'm really curious. Okay, you're not playing the deck I was hoping for. I had one uh, really, really fun deck that I elected not to play, but uh... yeah, we'll we'll see how it pans out. We'll see. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm. This is such a weird one. I I have a habit of spending a long time on my deciding what to play to mana. Yeah, no, um, it's fair. Doesn't hurt to think a little bit more in depth about it for sure. Yeah. Okay. This is a interesting card. I'm gonna send Abduction Charger to Mana, and you can go ahead. Mm -hmm. I. Uh, are Let's you see. okay? I didn't know if your audio like cut out or something. No, I was just thinking. We'll see how this plays out. It's so <laughs> weird that this card is a rare, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I was looking through that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Kaijudo, We have like two printings of this card, and they're both common. <laughs> I have to think. I actually don't know if there was another version of this in Duel Masters. I know we had Mighty Shouter in Duel Masters, which is one more cost, one thousand more power. But, uh, no, pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure it's just the one. Okay. But... Well, I will send Slash Charger to Mana, and uh, I will play Slash Charger. I want to get a look at what you're doing. For sure. You can All take right. control, right? Or do I have to I think I can take control look at yeah. yeah, okay. Well, this is very similar to one of the decks I was testing. Um what do I want to take out? Yeah, uh, okay, I should Okay. I know what I wanna get rid of, but now how do I I guess can I just drag it out? Okay, I, I I'm gonna get rid of that pincer scarab there pass control back sure. and you'll have to move it to the graveyard but yeah and then you'll have to shuffle here all right uh that's it for me though so you could go ahead ah uh, it's kind of rough it is losing the die roll was almost <laughs> gg this was a uh, very high variance um i mean i've only got three cards in my hand here thing is i don't know i feel like i just run it we're we're just gonna live or die by the <laughs> the uh, aggro strat. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a reasonable strat. Okay, that's fine. Okay. But yeah, on the draw against slash charger is uh, <laughs> not the uh, not what's uh, a winning strategy. <laughs> <laughs> My head is so so messed up. Um, in a good way or uh, perhaps a bad way hopefully uh i don't even know quite honestly <laughs> well we're gonna send bazigazeal dragon to mana we'll play 
the third slash charger. <laughs> and uh, I guess I have to... Hang on. Not my deck. I have to take control of your deck. If I were really good at remembering things, I could figure out what you drew last turn, but I am not. Yeah, I mean, you can grab a pen and pen and paper. <laughs> we can sit here, and it's all going to get edited out. It's all good. <laughs> That's true, but uh, not worth it. And I mean, I already didn't uh, write it down last time, so... Okay, honestly, I think I'm going to get rid of Unicorn Fish here. Okay. really don't want you drawing that because uh, I'm following this up with a blocker once I figure out how to pass control back to you. There we go. Alright, and then then we will play Bellix the Explorer. Actually, what do I want to grab back? Okay, I, I guess we just take the Slash Charger. Hmm. Yeah, alright, that's it for cool. me. I think you've got to shuffle again also. Well, you're talking, it does feel... Oh, I got punished a bit. It does feel like you don't have the sweeper at least, but but probably maybe it's reading it too into it there. I feel like I have to play super risky <laughs> and go for some weird, really weird setups. Okay, so that's a 4,000 power now, right? Yeah. Alright, I will take that. I, yeah, I guess I get I guess I do trigger this. It's not the best trigger in the world, but uh we'll trigger holy aw. Okay. Alright. Now we'll send slash charger to mana yet again. Uh we will play Cranium Clamp to get rid of the last two cards in your hand. What do we got here? Another Smash Warrior. And Shock Trooper Mikey, okay. Um, then we will play another Bellix the Explorer. Grab back. I guess we take Slash Charger again. Yeah, earlier when I was commenting on my hand, I was like looking at my hand and I had like two Bellixes and one Slash Charger with two Slash Chargers already <laughs> in mana. It was very bizarre. But, uh, okay, I don't I don't know which of these I just played, but one of these can attack, and so the one that can attack is going to kill the Hyper Squid Walter. Mm -hmm. And then that's it for me. Go ahead. Yes. I guess you missed the... Uh, oh, whatever. Not worth commenting on. Don't want to... Pretty... Almost dead. Whoop, wrong card. <laughs> God, if, the, if that thing had speed attacker... I guess I'll just kill your Belix with that. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I guess he could have picked up the abduction charger. Yeah, I could have done that, but it didn't seem worth it to me. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, tap three. We'll play the slash charger again. This is the problem with doing this. Now I have to, like, look through your deck a million times. Um... What do I not want to see you get? I guess... Yeah, I guess I really don't want you... Really don't want you drawing these unicorn fishes. So I'll take that out again. Uh, and then with our last three mana, we'll play Yuliana Channeler of Sons. And that's it for me. Hmm. Man, I almost got rid of that, too. Now I'm upset. Clearly, you had more than one of them anyways. Fortunately, you can't actually kill the Yuliana with the Rickaboo Screwdriver. Yeah, there's so many things you can go wrong, but I guess I just... <laughs> attack Shield 3. Yeah, I think I've gotta take this. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, I can't even with these cards. Hmm. All right. Well, that certainly changes things. Was it upheaval or some garbage? <laughs> what did it be? Upheaval would be an interesting one. That would be crazy. Um, I mean, upheaval would be pretty decent. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky. Okay. I had a feeling, man. Americans love the Americans love the ruby control. It was a pretty good <laughs> chance. I had a feeling it was gonna be. I was this close to playing something else. 
I will say that. I, yeah, I, wa be... I was going to play a different deck than this, and then I, like... Uh, a few hours ago, I did like a round robin between the three decks I was considering, and this one came out on top <laughs> by one game, but still. Uh, anyways. Okay. Yeah. I had a different plan, but I mean, yeah, with, with Forbos off the top, you just play Forbos, and uh, I'm gonna grab Apocalypse Vise. Okay. And. Uh, that's it from me. Don't top deck removal. Still uh, Yeah, I think that I have to. Uh, it's rough though, because I can't. I don't think I can really put you to zero shields and get rid of the thing. Check that. Yeah, I don't think the board can get rid of all my blockers and get me to zero shields. I think you could get me to no shields, but I still have a blocker. Of course, assuming you. <laughs> drew nothing that directly affects the board, I guess. I mean, if you drew Unicorn Fish, you just win here, I think. Well, if I don't have triggers. Well, I think this is just killing the Belix. Yeah, okay. So, Belix dies. Belix, Belix, I don't know which one it is. Then, I guess I'll just, I'll just attack your last two with the, the radioactive horn. Okay. I guess maybe you can kill the block. Well, no, because it won't get me to zero shields. But yeah, I, I have to block this or uh, okay. risk. Yeah. Yeah, so then I'll kill the Yuliana and okay. yeah, kill the Yuliana. I'll break number four. Okay. Well, that's not a bad draw. Wish I had this one shield earlier. But uh, I'll trigger Magma Rex. So this will take out the Rickaboo screwdriver and the broccoli. Okay, yeah. Can I? This is weird because there's there's other ways I could make this play that don't involve sacrificing my four bows, but I don't actually think any of them are correct. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So tag tap is a four thousand now, right? Because I have one water card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll send Transmogrify to mana, but then we're going to play another Bellix the Explorer, pick up the Abduction Charger, and so now the tag tap is back down to 4,000, and Forbos is going to crash into the tag tap, and you can go ahead now. It's our Scarab, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll send Thaliga to mana, and now we will play Apocalypse Vise to take out the Pincer Scarab, and you can go ahead. Okay, well, I don't think we can let this sit here, so we managed to draw another apocalypse vise at some point during that time so we'll take out both of those creatures and go ahead <laughs> just in the uh Bizagazio waiting room <laughs> this is surprisingly awkward yeah okay one two three four uh i'm gonna play crystal memory screwed this up, but that's okay. Um, Alright, and now we will tap to for another Bellix. Pick up the Slash Charger and uh, go ahead. Man, this is wacky, dude. <laughs> wacky, wacky. I don't even know what I'm trying to accomplish, though, is the problem. Please. <laughs> I mean, that's a reasonable play. Get me down to... No shields. Um, I guess. Yeah, I'll just bounce both Belix and break your last one. Okay. Yep, that's good. And now I don't even know what I'm looking for, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, does this work? Yeah, this works. Okay. We'll send this abduction charger back to mana. One, two, three. Play a slash charger and take a look at what your options are that are left. 
guess at this point a big thing we're scared of is the speed attackers. So we'll get rid of this shock trooper Mikey, I think. Uh, pass control, pass control. All right, and then tap three for Yuliana. Tap two for Felix. Pick up slash charger and go ahead. Uh, I guess I'll just attack. Yeah, I'll block with the Bellix. And in turn. All right. Uh, so actually, okay, th this doesn't change my play. So I'm gonna do this play either way. I'm actually not sure on how the ruling for this works though. So I, I'm going to send a Cranium Clamp oh. to mana. Then I'm going to tap 7 for Apocalypse Vise. And so before I play the Apocalypse Vise, I have four cards in hand. So it works. Scarab is a 9,000. But I think after I play it, it should be down to 7,000. Am I understanding that correctly? Yep. Okay, so play Apocalypse Vise to kill both your creatures. And go ahead. Right. Should we just in? Pass in. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I mean, what would you be holding on to? That's the question. Is there anything I'm scared of? One, two, three. Play slash charger. I wish this card didn't take so long to actually use. But I guess this is what I was asking for when I played the deck. Okay, yeah, we will get rid of this. All right, and now we'll tap three for Yuliana. Tap two for Bellix. And I'm actually gonna pick up the Cranium Clamp and go ahead. Okay. I don't know what you're holding on to, but I'll just clamp to get rid of it. Twin cannon, okay, that makes sense. And we'll run out the third Yuliana. Go ahead. Okay. So now I just, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Just like we're pray. Just gonna, yeah, well, we're just gonna play a creature every turn and then hope that, uh, <laughs> hope that it's good enough, yeah. Up, well, your second Magmarex or whatever. Just you break off somehow. I mean, and it could easily happen. Um, I, am I mean, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a castable creature every turn. So <laughs> you have to draw. The problem is I have to draw like three or like four extra castable creatures. Then you right. draw answers. And it, it 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 really helps that teleportation doesn't actually like get you out of this somehow because you can't actually bounce the Yulianas. But uh, okay, we'll play. Forbos. I mean, I, I guess we just grab Apocalypse Vise. Uh, no reason to make things complicated. Go ahead yeah. and actually I mean, Apocalypse shuffle Vise. too. Apocalypse Vise is literally a game, basically. Alright. Well, yeah. We'll vise your board. Okay. And go ahead. Yeah, th this is definitely one of those spots where, like, <laughs> I don't think there's much you can do, honestly. But yeah, we'll just play it out for the video. Yeah, I mean, you can, <laughs> you can cut it off whenever you want to. Uh, but, are, are, uh, are you bouncing something or no? No, I'll just... <laughs> so, but pro yeah. I guess all the things you can bounce are come into play effects. Um, well, that's yeah, not bad. I don't want you to get back abduction charger because that would be three four uh, game, basically. We'll play crystal memory. Guess we just yeah. I guess we just grab this, uh, shuffle, then tap four for aqua skydiver, and you can go ahead. That's a bit annoying. All right, I guess. Guess we just play Fall Ego and get back Apocalypse Vise again. And yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. 
Yeah, I mean, we can call it there. That, yeah, that's if, pretty much, I if, mean, if, it's been, yeah. If, if you want. I, I, I mean, honestly, uh, the, the, the other cards in my hand, I have another Fall Ego to get back buys again, and I have Psy Force to get back Slash Chargers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even just the Abduction Charger loop. Yeah, that, that works too. I mean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, w with a deck like this in this situation, at this point, it's pretty much choose how you want to win the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my my hope is like I don't know. Well, there's basically no hope. It was over like 30 <laughs> turns ago, but the hope was that I mean, your deck is if your deck is somehow like the brick half that you didn't draw beforehand. I, I so there was but, one yeah. period like right when you got me down to no shields, and I like didn't quite have what I needed in my hand, where I, I was like. Yeah. You could still win, but I mean, my deck had so many ways to like start the engine rolling, and I just had to draw one of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there was. But... The, the problem is, it would take me like four turns to assemble a kill, which is there's no way I can dodge for four draws. Right. So... Yeah. That, I mean, I, I had the ways to start looping Apocalypse Vise to keep you off the board, anyways. But yeah, yeah. good games. I almost played a deck GG. pretty close to this. Yeah, GG for sure. Good luck in the rest of the, uh, whatever, the event. I don't know, <laughs> whatever it's called. Congratulations, Core Isle, for winning the elimination match. You are safe this week, so please go join the rest of the competitors back at the lodge. Modest Duelist, unfortunately, this is the end of the line for you. But thank you so much for coming out here and competing in these challenges. Even though you're more of a Kaijudo player than Duel Masters, I'm really glad you took the time to join us, and it was amazing having you on the show. Hopefully we'll see you again in the near future. So, unfortunately, the rug aggro strategy back-to-back -back, unfortunately did not pay off. Uh, credit to Corel627, I think his deck was really set up well for, for mine, obviously. Yuliana's a Magmarex just completely tore my strategy apart. I was maybe didn't give him enough credit in that elimination challenge to bring a deck that was prepared for me. Uh, probably should have. Maybe being a little bit insecure in my, my play skill. So um, I'll probably have to get over that at some point. Maybe learn more about DM that way. So thanks to everyone for the chance to participate in the Garibon games. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> um, didn't last that long. But uh, yeah, I learned a bit, had fun, and uh, maybe you guys will see me in the future. So bye-bye.